Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this particular video I am going to talk about one of the vulnerability that has been found by Lakshman. Uh, he found this bug on Microsoft website and for this particular vulnerability he got paid around 50,000 USD which is equivalent to around 36 lakhs in Indian rupees. So we are going to walk through this entire vulnerability that uh, has been found by Lakshman. And I believe I know Lakshman from long back, probably 2015 or something because from very old days, I believe he's been a bug hunter and he's been finding very high quality bug in Facebook and other reputed website. So again, this all content is going to be educational. So try to learn as much as you can from this particular video and take it as a research purpose only. Okay, so let's uh, look at this. So Lakshman has already found multiple vulnerability in website like Facebook, Instagram, as I said, and uh, he has basically also found similar kind of bug in other platform and which led him to test the same uh, vulnerability in this particular Microsoft website also. So what he did basically is when you go for a forgot password page uh, into your Microsoft account, then you will have something like I have a code and I do not have a code. These are the options that you can utilize to reset your password so if you have a code then it will basically send an uh, otp or kind of seven digit code to your uh, email address or registered email address using which you can basically reset your password so what he did basically when as soon as he provided the password or the seven digit number otp he could see that intercept he has intercepted the request and he could see that you know, instead of going this same uh, OTP value in the body part of a post request, there was nothing as such, right? There was some encrypted code that was basically passing through. Now, this is the first learning that you need to check, right? Whenever you are, you know, passing a particular value in a uh, some form parameter within an HTML page or maybe some application, you need to see whether that particular value, how it is getting passed through. But in this case, it was not passing through. I mean, the actual value was not passing through, but there was some encrypted code that was passing through. So that he, he got to realize that, okay, there is the one, two, three, four, five, six value is not passing, but instead there is some encrypted code that is passing, which led him to think like, again, I've been saying this particular thing in a lot of videos that wherever there is encryption, uh, there is no flaw in encryption typically, but there you will find some flaw with respect to the way it has been implemented in any particular application. So you need to find that flaw and most of the time you find flaw in encryption that is always associated with the implementation rather than the encryption itself. Now, whenever you are going for brute forcing uh, for this key or encrypted value, in this case, you need to know the algorithm using which they have basically formed this encryption value, right? So there must be some encryption key and there are some of the uh, usual way to identify the encryption. Probably we'll talk about that in some different video based on the you know number of character it is, is divisible by 16 or you know whether it is divisible by 8 uh, that way you can basically find out which kind of encryption they are using but let's just proceed with this particular video right so in this particular uh, uh, you know blog he has mentioned that it will not be easy to implement uh, or uh, brute force using burp suit intruder rather than uh, you have to find out uh, you know what is the encryption but then he mentioned that after figuring, uh, spending some time, he was able to figure out what encryption technique they were able to using and then automate the entire encryption process with a particular value. Now, so next test, test for this particular case will be, uh, he has sent thousands of uh, values with uh, values like one, two, three, four, five, six, and all those kind of any possible seven digit character number and then send it to server. Then he noticed that 122 actually got through and other were uh, getting some of the code, something called as 1211. I believe this is the length, this is not the code, but yeah, it was getting some of the error code. Uh, yeah, you could see that error code, something like this. This means this is an invalid or maybe there is something that is blocking. Now he tried sending multiple value like he did for other website like you know Instagram or other platform but eventually that was not getting through or that was not passing through but then he was still hoping there would be something or some way to bypass that now he realized that there is something called as blacklisting of ip address which is most of the cases you will find that whenever you have rate limit or other kind of brute force protection they will typically blacklist the ip address but 
even in that case also there are some of the bypasses exist uh, probably by sending some of the x forward and other thing again i have already discussed about this uh, bypassing blacklisting in some other video i'll put the link in the description you can go ahead and uh, watch that you will get a better idea so he again uh, tweaked his code to slight bit more to you know adjust this scenario so again it's not that always you will get whatever uh, ready made is always going to work for you in this particular scenario so you need to always modify a slight bit changes you need to do you know to get it work so he has done some tweak to the code uh, that is the brute forcing code and surprisingly after some time he got that okay there is no restriction in blocking another thing and the encryption is working fine and the otp is also working fine i mean the whatever encrypted otp that is been generated next task for him is to test whether somebody who has only this two factor authentication enabled is vulnerable or also there are other users who are have do not have this kind of facility are still vulnerable and then he tested for both the type of error varieties of account and after some time of uh, testing he figured out that yes uh, he could basically you know, bypass anybody's uh, or reset anybody's password utilizing this kind of methodology for you know bypassing the user uh, authentication so then he reported this issue uh, back in november 2020 and uh, he, he was assigned this particular privilege he has mentioned like elevation of privilege or involving multiple or uh, multi-factor authentication bypass and due to this there is some like a logical conversion that exists or logical implementation that exists right and then uh, microsoft did validate it they take some time usually microsoft take month kind of time they are not that uh, but in this case since this is an you know severity of important or high severity i am sure that they would have uh, resolved this issue pretty quickly and finally they send him the confirmation mail that this issue has been in resolved and this is in scope and we are rewarding with you, you with a 50000 usd and also the you know microsoft typically does this acknowledgement on their disclosure page right so he has got mentioned his name also in uh, february 9th so you could see the duration was november when he reported and the entire stuff that uh, got disclosed in february 9th i believe there is some cycle microsoft follows in order to reward someone and acknowledge someone so uh, this is the entire blog he has written very nicely i would definitely encourage you to go through this blog i will put the link in the description again and try to learn as much as you can in fact you should also check out his other instagram vulnerability uh, blog that will be really very helpful for you to learn this i believe this this particular issue microsoft issue come next and you should learn the basics one that is your instagram vulnerability that he has found so he has also released a proof of concept right so i will again i'll put the link you can go ahead and watch it and i hope you would have learned something from this particular video have a nice day bye bye thank you soon